I'm Simon, I'm an engineer at G3 and I'm here to talk about locking out your toe. Locking out your toe is a great feature to have when you're touring because it allows you to stay engaged during the uphill, but it's not such a good idea when you're going down. What it does is when you've locked it out during downhill, you've negated your release performance. Most other tech bindings, energetic skiing and chattery conditions can result in pre-release. Then this is how the bad habit of skiing locked out came to be. So with the ion and with the Z, due to the energy absorption characteristics of the toe, because of the design of the towers and the springs and how much travel is required to open it before release, it allows for a lot more energy and travel to be absorbed before the release happens. So in most other tech bindings, as you near the release point, the amount of energy and force required is actually coming down. That's not true for the ion or for the Z. As you near your release point, it wants to clamp you even more until the geometrical constraints allow it to open. And those characteristics allow you to ski confidently and aggressively with your toe unlocked.